Heavenly Father, we are together again to begin new week, Lord. Give us spirit of wisdom and uh, revelation to understand your words, Lord. In the name of Lord Jesus Christ, amen. Yeah, let me read the book of Psalm chapter 29. Give unto the Lord, O you mighty, give unto the Lord glory and strength. Give unto the Lord the glory due, to, due unto his name. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. The voice of the Lord is upon the waters. The God of glory thundereth. The Lord is upon many waters. The voice of the Lord is powerful. The voice of the Lord is full of majesty. The voice of the Lord breaketh the cedars. Yeah, the Lord breaketh the cedars of Lebanon. He maketh them also to skip like a calf. Lebanon and Solon like a young unicorn. The voice of the Lord divides the flames of fire. The voice of the Lord shakes the wilderness. The Lord shakes the wilderness of Kadesh. The voice of the Lord makes the hinds to carve and discovers the forest. And in his temple uh, does everyone speak of glory. The Lord sits upon uh, the flood. Yeah, the Lord sits king forever. The Lord will give strength unto his people. The Lord will bless his people with peace. Yeah, and the Bible says, you know, God sometimes speak through the thunders and lightning, you know. A week ago, you know, God uh, made a you know, thunderstorm and lightning more than 20 times in the London in England, you know that? How much dreadful situation. Okay, today's, you know, uh, main scripture is the book of Ezekiel, chapter 37. Let me read, okay. Uh, listen very carefully. It's a great story, okay, prophecy. You will see, you know, uh, prophecy already is fulfilled in our days. Then you shall know God is true God, real God, his creator. The hand of the Lord was upon me and carried me out in the spirit of the Lord and set me down in the midst of the valley, which was full of bones. And caused me to pass by them round about, and behold, there were very many in the open valley, and lo, they were very dry. And he said unto me, Son of man, can these bones live? And I answered, O Lord God, thou knowest. Again he said unto me, Prophesy upon these bones, and say unto them, O you dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. And thus says the Lord God unto these bones, Behold, I will cause breath to enter into you, and you shall live. And I will lie sinews upon you, and will bring up flesh upon you, and cover you with the skin, and put breath in you, and you shall live. And you shall know that I am the Lord. So I prophesied as I was commanded, and I was, and as I prophesied, there was a noise, and behold, the shaking. And the bones came together, bone to his bone. And when I beheld, lo, the sinews and the flesh came up unto them, and the skin covered them above, but there was no breath in them. Then said he unto me, Prophecy unto the wind, prophecy, son of man, and say to the wind, Thus says the Lord God, came from the four winds, O breath, and breathe upon this slain that they will live. So I prophesied as he commanded me, and the breath came into them, and they lived, lived and stood up upon their feet, an exceeding great army. Then he said unto me, Son of man, those bones are the whole house of Israel. Behold, they say, our bones are dried, and our hope is lost. We are cut off for our parts. Therefore prophesy and say unto them, Thus says the Lord, Lord, Lord God, Behold all my people, I will open your graves, and cause you to come up out of your graves, and bring you into the land of Israel. And you shall know that I am the Lord, when I have opened your graves, O my people, and brought you up out of your graves, and shall out my spirit in you, and you shall live, and I shall place you in your own land. Then shall you 
know that I, the Lord, have spoken it and performed it, says the Lord. Amen. Now, today's subject of the sermon, as you see, thou knowest that you know, I don't know, that means, I don't know. You, Almighty God, know. Only you know. It is a kind of confession of faith, okay? God took the prophet Ezekiel in the Spirit of God to the valley full of dry bones that will happen in the future to show in advance the work of the Almighty God to the people of Israel. God showed him a great many bones and asked him, Can these bones live? I want to answer. If you really see dry, many dry bones in the valley, if God asks you, Can these bones live? What do you think? What kind of answer you're supposed to give them right now? If God gives you this kind of question, think about that. Ezekiel, servant of God, who believed in the Almighty God, said, O Lord God, thou knowest. He asked not Ezekiel whether he could make the bone live, but God asked him, God asked him whether God can raise them to live. In his wise answer, he confessed that no one in this world can know, but only God, the Almighty, who knows and can do. God finally told Ezekiel, who trusts in God, who knows everything and can do it. <laughs> Prophecy upon these bones and say unto them, all you dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. Thus says the Lord God unto these bones. Behold, I will cause breath to enter into you, and you shall live. And I will lay sinews upon you, and will bring up flesh upon you, and cover you with skin, and put breath in you, and you shall live, and you shall know that I am the Lord. Ezekiel, who believed that God, only God, who created all things by his word, knew and could do all things, and prophesy to the bones by the word of God, as God commanded to him. No one can give life again who died, and all flesh and skin disappeared, returning to the earth, and a few remaining bones only God, the Creator, can, can do. When Ezekiel prophesied the word of God, by faith the power of the word appeared instantaneously. When God created all things, as upon his full word fell out his mouth, all creation was instantly created beginning with light, sun and moon, all kinds of trees and vegetables, you know, all kinds of fishes and even whales. The bones were sounded and vibrating and bones gathered together and attached to their bones. In addition, tendons and flesh climbed over their bones and skin covered them, but there was no breath in them. When God made the first man, he made his body of the dust of ground, and believed the life, breathed the life into his nostrils, and made him a living soul. God breathed in those whose dry bones were finally restored to human form. God told Ezekiel to give breath unto them. Prophecy unto the wind, prophecy, son of man, and say to the wind, Thus says the Lord God, Come from the four winds of breath. O breath and breathe upon these slain, that they may live. Finally, Ezekiel saw that their breath had entered them, and that they were alive and standing on their feet, that they became a great army. God, who heard the word of Ezekiel's faith, the Lord Lloyd, spoke to him. And when he commanded the bones according to the word of God, they appeared to be a great army of people again who died before. He who believes in the words of the book of Genesis, chapter 1, verse 1, saying, In the beginning God created the heaven and the earth. Then can believe in the words of God without doubting any words. Believing with the heart and confessing with his mouth, he can live a life of thanksgiving, but a person who does not believe in the creator God cannot believe any words. 
by judging by his own thought, he's getting old and dies and does not even realize that he become a piece of dust and dry bones. And those who do not believe in God live living in their most honorable ways, but God said to them, Nevertheless, man being in honor, abide this not. He is like the beast that perish. Man that is in honor and understands not is like the beast that perish. Just like a perish. Finally, God said that he was preached to the Ezekiel through a vision of what will happen in the future. Therefore prophecy and say unto them, Thus says the Lord God, Behold, O my people, I will open your graves and cause you to come up out of your graves and bring you into the land of Israel, and you shall know that I am the Lord when I have opened your graves of my people and brought you up out of your graves. And shall put my spirit in you, and you shall live, and I shall place you in your own land, and shall you know that I, the Lord, have spoken it and performed it, says the Lord. As the prophecies of dry bones that were seen through the vision, he prophesied to the people of Israel who would be scattered throughout the earth, just like bones, dry bones, as he saw that they were alive and became a great army. They were to be driven out of the homeland in the distant future, that he might prophesy that God will restore Israel, which shall be scattered all over the earth and become hopeless. The Roman Empire and religious leaders of Israel, who were ruling over them 2,000 years ago, knowing that Jesus was the Messiah and Creator, but they did not accept their Messiah and nailed him on the cross. In other in order to make them realize in the distant future, God devastated Jerusalem, leaving no one stone on, on a stone by the Roman Empire, by General T. Titus, whom they believed, uh, relied, trusted on in year 70. Since then, they have been driven out of their land and have wandered the whole world, becoming as God's word, as if they were dry bones. Yeah, the human history is proofs. You remember Holocaust, right? That's part of it. But on May 14, 1948, the nation was re restored. As it had made prophecy thousand years ago through Ezekiel, it is as if a flesh and tendon were formed on dry bones and became a large army as if covered with the skin on it. It is the fulfillment of God's prophecy that military power of Israel is now great. Yeah, you see the fulfillment of God's prophecy. Try to be believer, not to be non-believer, okay? But they still do not live, have the breath of God's breathing life in them because they do not believe on their Messiah, or most of them. But the Bible says that they will finally realize and repent when the Messiah Jesus comes back to judge the world in the near future. And as God prophesied through Ezekiel, all of them will return to the homeland with no one left. And they will eventually become the nation of priests on the earth. The prophets prophesied about this. Yeah, prophet Isaiah prophesied like that. According to the words of God. Who are these that fly as a cloud? So many people, you know, just like a cloud, okay? And as the doves to their windows. The doves, you know, come back to their window, right? In the, uh, in the evening, right? Same thing. And, and times come, you know, all, all, all Israel people fly to Israel. Surely the Isol shall wait for me, and the ships of Tashivar, uh, uh, Tashish, uh, first to bring thy sons from far, their silver and their gold with them, unto the name of the Lord thy God, and to the Holy One of Israel, because he hath glorified thee. And the sons of strangers shall build up thy wars, and their kings shall minister unto thee. For in my wrath I smote thee, but in my favor have I had mercy on thee. And I will plant them, you know, prophet Amos, you know, also prophesied. And I will plant them upon their land, that is, you know, Israel. And they shall no more be pulled up out of their homeland, their land which I have given them, says the Lord thy God. Their land is from 
all of Palestine. That's right. God promises through the servants ahead of time and accomplishes all things. He has made his servant prophecy ahead of time, and we are clearly seeing and hearing what is happening in our time these days towards the Jews and the people of the world who do not believe in the almighty, credit God, God spoke through the prophet Isaiah. All flesh is grass. All the goodliness thereof is as the flower of the field. The grass withers, the flowers fade, because the spirit of the Lord blows upon it. Surely the people is grass. And without Holy Spirit, all men and women just the grass, getting old and die. The grass withers, yeah, withers means uh, getting old. The flowers fade, or the pride, you know, gone away. But the word of a God shall stand forever. Their position in the world, their money, their health, whatever, all fades out. Nothing in this world is eternal. Still the world seems to live as an animal that does not believe in the words of God, that lives like a beast of destruction unto destruction, following the lust of flesh and lust of eyes and pride of life. But we can preach the gospel as a chicken unto them that are poor in spirit without any hope of life. You will find out. Open your eyes. You will find out many dry bones around you. We should not be ashamed of the gospel of Christ. Gospel of Christ is a prophecy. It is God's power to bring all believers to salvation. The first is for the Jews. The second is all the Gentiles. We must preach the gospel to them and make them receive the Holy Spirit. As we pray, the Holy Spirit will make us meet the poor people who live without hope as dry bones, just as Ezekiel showed them. Therefore, when we preach the gospel to them, we will see the glory of God that will make them alive. I bless all of you not to be, not believing in Almighty God, but believing Almighty God. Even today's words of God given to us. I bless all of you to be wise and understand the words of God. To spend your life worthy way, eternal way, Lord.